Carpentry Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Carpentry Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Lesson 3, Learning Outcome Number 1. Our topic is Perform Mensuration and Calculations. Definition of terms. Standard serves as a measure of reference. Volume, a space inside the solid figure. Graduation, a scale of a measuring tool. Calculation, the act or process or a result of calculating. Mensuration, act or art of measuring. Perimeter, Bounding line of curb of a plain area. Substrate. Wood to be cut in a cutting machine. Dimension. Measurable extent such as length, thickness, and width. Decimal. Number expressed in counting systems that uses units of 10, especially a decimal fraction. Area. Extent of a part of a surface enclosed within a boundary. Geometric shapes. Characterized by straight line, regular curves, and angles. Circumference. Distance around the circle. Classification. Group or category within an organized system. Learning outcome number one. Select measuring instruments. Before we start of the lesson, can you name the following tools? Now, check your answer if you got it right. First is the pull-push rule. Second is the zigzag rule. Third is the ruler. And fourth is the caliper. Here are some types of measuring tools. First is the pull-push rule. It is used to measure long piece stock. Next is the zigzag rule, a folded measuring tool. Ruler, used for measuring short pieces of stock. Caliper, used for measuring diameter. Tri-square, used for checking flatness and squareness. Meter stick, a measuring device which is one meter Divider, in length. Used for dividing distances. Compass, used for scribing arcs and circles. Protractor, used for laying out angles. Handling of measuring instruments and tools. Do's in handling measuring tools. First, wipe measuring tools or instrument before returning them to the storage room. Second, oil the movable parts of the measuring tools such as zigzag rules, calipers, dividers, and compasses to avoid stock up. Third, make sure that grids like sand do not get inside the housing or case of a pull-push rule to avoid wearing off the graduations. Fourth, check the lock of a pull-push rule if it is working. Next are the don'ts in handling measuring tools. First, do not wipe off edges of the steel tape of pull-push rule with bare hands to avoid injury. Second, do not pull the steel tape of pull-push rule too much to avoid the coil spring from damage. Third, do not use the caliper as tongs. The linear measurements for the six paces of a lumber. A lumber has six spaces. It has two ends, two edges, and two surfaces. 
linear measurements for the six spaces of number. A number has a six spaces, two ends, two edges, and two surfaces. These are the two ends. This one, end number one, and this is the end number two. These are the two edges. This is the edge number one, and going there is the edge number two. And two surfaces. This top part is the surface number one, and at the bottom is the surface number two. The six faces of a lumber. If you will going to connect the end 1 and end 2, it will be called the length. And if you connect the two edges from edge 1 to edge 2, it is the width. And if you connect the surfaces, the surface 1 and the surface 2, it is the height. Hence, the linear measurements obtained are from end 1, this is the end 1, going to end 2, or AB, is called length. It is called length. So, this is the length from end 1 to end 2. Hence, edge 1 to edge, edge 2. Or CD. So this is the edge 1 going to the edge 2 or CD is called the width. Surface 1 going to surface 2, the top bottom, the top surface going to surface 2 or EF, it is called the thickness or height. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.